Eric D. Diedrichson from RelaxShacks.com, author of Humble Home Simple Shacks. And today, taking a break, wanted to film a little video for you, vlog style, that's with a V, of a micro cabinet wheels I've been working on that I'm going to name, or have been naming, the Cub. C-U-B. Far from done. I think this is maybe day seven. I've been working on it in a heat wave here in Massachusetts. We've had like four days where it's been well over 90 degrees and humid. So much fun. I'm not built for the heat, but persevering here. Um, I'm using a lot of recycled materials in this build, and just to show you why I love doing that, here's some recycled barn and or fence boards for the roof here. This will be more a seasonal cabin. The cells are here to put an in insulation later if you choose to do so. This back wall, since I do have some less, uh, less over, leftover foam board insulation, we'll be insulating that and cladding it with some bead board from a house that was over 100 years old in the neighborhood. Uh, they donated it to me, or we're going to chuck it, and I rescued it from a dumpster. It will be put to use and restained and look gorgeous. Most of the 2 by 4s in this back wall and that window, yes, salvaged, free. It's amazing what people chuck at job sites. Um, I'm lucky they do it. Very simple one pitch roof. The board, the planks I've used take longer to install than plywood, but again, love the look. A little bit heavier, but we're well underweight in terms of weight capacity. And this trailer is a mere 5x8 trailer. So it's a 5x8 cabin, minuscule, yes. Um, from Northern Tool. 529 bucks. You had to assemble it. It was a pain in the butt, but the thing is pretty impressively strong. Holds about 2,000 or more pounds. According to my calculations, this cabin will weigh somewhere in the ballpark of 13 or 1,400 pounds without stuff in it. Of course, when you arrive at the site and park it and put jack stands under it, it can hold more than 2,000 pounds. So the door is going to be here. I have one from a 100-year-old, like a barn door. I was going to rebuild. It's not going to be that tall. We're going to have, you know, the top of it will be about here or a little higher. Um, but I kind of didn't like the look of it. Change of plans. This guy a few towns away selling a cool French store used. I'll probably pick that up. I already have been working while building this on some salvage material art pieces to put in here. Just, you know, wall hangings and such. Functional art made out of complete junk. Probably have some bookshelves up there in that sill. This could be a lofted bunk of sorts, giving beneath it room for chairs, a bench, who knows what, so you can hang out in here and stand in at least half of it. I'm thinking maybe in this little corner here by the window, some sort of little table where you can put like a hot plate, maybe a micro fridge beneath it, who knows. Now the idea is perhaps on the trailer tongue, I'm trying to finish this thing for the uh, tiny house fair up in Warren, Vermont, but on the tongue here down the road, once I kind of get past all this junk here, I might build a tiny outhouse style bathroom that you would have to access from the exterior of the cabin. To access it from the interior would waste a lot of wall space. I'd have to put a door in here and more or less this is so small you don't want to be uh, you know doing your business so close to where you're sleeping. There at least be a nice thick divisional wall, two layers and insulation right here between there and outside that outhouse like bathroom. The floor right now is just high-end plywood, which I might sand down a bit in polyurethane, and I also bought some click track flooring I might put in there too. It will add weight, but might look pretty darn nice. So there's an update of sorts. I'm actually working now on cutting some more of the plywood to fill in some of these areas here. Probably put a pet slash peak, um, is the website, a dome style window up there as well. And I have some awesome, awesome lumber from Goodridge Lumber up in Albany, Vermont, where I go all the time for cedar that I will uh, use to continue to clad the exterior here. And that's pretty much all there is to it. Again, I'm Deke from RelaxShacks.com. Thanks for watching. We'll have a real deal video down the road once I do finish this thing. Take care.